one. My wife and I have property in Wisconsin, and one, one of my favorite things to do when I'm up there is to go antiquing. And my wife, joking, well, I don't think it's jokingly, uh, she refers to my, my living room as TGIF Fridays <laughs> because I have stuff on the walls, stuff on the ceiling uh, of things that, that make me smile. And, and one of the things that I have is an old antique set of cross-country skis and snowshoes. And during the holidays, I'll put a little bit of greenery on there and dress them up. What Barbara did, this is cool. I'm gonna reach over here. Barbara created a completely self-contained piece of old-fashioned skis. The way she does, nobody does greenery as well as she does. But there's the old-fashioned ski poles attached to them and the whole thing can either be hung up on that wonderful raw strap of, of rope, or you can do what we did here and just lean it up against the fireplace. Barbara, I don't know that people will understand just how much work pieces like that take to bring to fruition. That sale price of $52.45 is very reasonable. This is gonna be a favorite for people, I think. You're oh. right. This did take a lot of work to get this exactly right. The details in this piece, the size of this piece. Imagine this hanging on your front door, covered porch. Yep. Again, we know the problems with hanging on a door. You're going to typically have the storm door there. This is such a low profile when it's sideways, but having this huge statement piece the skis being that whitewashed. So if you did love the sled and you have that leaning on your front uh, door side and this hanging on the door, this whitewash is really gonna show up beautifully against whatever color your door is. It looks amazing. Even white on white, like you have at your fireplace there, looks so amazing because there's so much texture in this piece. Yeah. From the wooden ski poles, and the glittery, sparkly, snow-kissed tips on both ends of the skis gives it such a fabulous detail. Finishing touch, and we did work really hard on getting that exactly right. The first prototype that we made uh -huh. were just the wooden skis. Then we added that glitter touch and it just came alive. Then when our designers took the pine greenery. We also wanted to take that icy look. I'm not sure you can see it so well there, but they're kissed well, in that icy snow. Yeah, with I'll bring the it towards berry. the camera. There it is. Ah, Perfect shot. There it is. Isn't that delightful? And the different textures of the greens really looks amazing. Now it is very, very simplistic in the look, but everything together has such impact yeah. and that's what I love. When you put this in a place, whether it's leaning on the fireplace or on the front door, you're gonna see this from a distance. This is the biggest thing in catalogs and I know that we're gonna be inundated with these catalogs coming up in just a few short weeks, is this, uh, they call it faux nostalgia because they are, you know, they are being made, but a lot of these pieces are going to be very expensive because they're extraordinarily labor intensive to be able to create each and every one. You can't automate equipment to do this type of work. And if you're someone who crafts, and I know I've got a lot of you out there that are watching that, that love to do this stuff yourself, the, the darn supplies by themselves would almost cost this much. And when you factor in how long it would take you to do each one, you probably wouldn't get it done in time for Christmas. So Barbara does all the hard work. Uh, your design team is just amazing. And I agree, uh, if I could weasel my way into one or two of those design meetings, I would love it. That, that I know would, you would be it, a joy for me. It really is amazing to see the team at work. We call ourselves elves. You and are. what our team, our team goes into homes all throughout our area here on the main line and we will design and decorate. And you know, we book out right away. I'm so thrilled 
that they created something for all, all of our QVC customers that can't get our elves yep. to come to your house. Well, We're doing it for you right here. Barbara, thank you. Listen, I know how busy you are. For you to take this much of your day uh, on a Monday oh, thank to you. join me, I consider a personal favor, and I hope you know mm -hmm. how much I care and how much I appreciate you. Uh, it makes me happy when good people succeed like you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Love talking to you. You're the best. Thank you. All right. This, this is another one of my favorites because these are ridiculous.